Jumping right into the first one is bottom quick settings. In one word, it's just a more useful setting and notification panel than your usual. First of all, it's easier to access. It's, you know, just a simple flick. Secondly, it looks much better with all the themes that you've got. And thirdly, the whole thing is really flexible and customizable, starting with the themes. I mean, all of these styles, the background colors, all of these are customizable. You can even have a background image if you wanted. You can just slide your finger on this bar right here to quickly change brightness levels. You also have more control over how and what notifications show up and if they should show in full black color or if they should just take the color from the app icon, whether you want to see persistent irritating notifications or you don't. So it's completely up to you. You can also customize the tiles that you want in your settings and which ones you don't. And you've got a full list here. And this is much more than what you usually get. Some might need root notification, but you don't have to if you don't want to. But like all other apps, most customizations are in the premium version. But the premium version is barely a dollar fifty. But I think it's a must have notification system for every Android phone. Next up is Firefox Preview, definitely a browser you should consider switching to. It's faster for sure, feels lighter and secure. And I know Chrome has all your passwords saved, but you can do that with Firefox too. What's really best about this browser is that you can club a bunch of tabs open and call it a collection. So let's say that, you know, I had these three browsers, uh, sorry, these three tabs opened when I was furniture hunting. I can save that as a collection called, let's say, Furniture 2. And then I can just access this again really quick. So next time I come, I could just go into collections, tap on furniture two, and my tabs would be available right in front of me. And I can just tap on them and reopen them. And it does have the option of, you know, switching between light and dark theme. So you could just go into settings and you can choose the light theme if that's what you're more interested in. Really like the fact that they've moved the URL bar at the bottom. A tiny slide up menu allows me to quickly bookmark and share this URL, which I find really helpful. In Chrome, it's kind of like hidden in the menu. And I think these things have become really important. And the URL bar at the bottom is just so much easier to access your, you know, URLs. The next app is called Full Battery and Theft Alarm. The app is so simple that it's almost dumb to not have it. The app can trigger an alarm if your phone charges to 100% or if someone tries to unplug the phone while it's charging. So let's say you're at a party or at an airport and your phone is charging at the station. The phone will ring an alarm immediately in case someone disconnects the phone. So you're always in the know. Additionally, the app does give you a lot more information like charge time, charging history, time left for 100% charging and much more. But you can figure more out as you install the app. The next one is Volume Slider. This app lets you control very frequently used settings like brightness, volume and so on with simple slide gestures on the edges of your screen. And you can configure all four edges. And there are quite a few options, you know, you can choose to change brightness, system sounds, br uh, ringer volumes, notification sounds, and so on. And you can configure all four edges. So that gives you a lot of options. You can have your own setting, a different setting for each edge, but that's a premium feature. The free one only lets you do the left edge. If you want to do all, it's just $1. So try it out. The fifth app in the list, Audify. It's a simple app that will read out all your notifications to you when you can't really attend to your phone, say when you're driving. First of all, it turns on automatically as you connect to a wired or a wireless speaker or Bluetooth device and it deactivates automatically. The great part is you can select apps for which you want notifications and it doesn't annoy you, especially when you're listening to music. You know how your music volume goes down when a notification comes in? Yeah, it's got a dark theme. That's just great. And there are so many settings in the notification settings area. I mean, you can sync it to your phone's preferences. So if your phone is in D&D &D mode, it will not speak notifications. If your phone is in silent, it would not read out notifications, you know. So there, it just syncs with your phone so well that it sort of works seamlessly. And because it's automatically connected or disconnected, you don't have to worry about enabling it or disabling it, you know. And you can choose whether you want it on wired earphones or Bluetooth or both. So you do get 250 notifications for free when you get the app, but for a dollar fifty, you can unlock unlimited. Okay, now I know there are a ton of weather apps out there, but you know what? They keep getting better, more meaningful, and more intuitive with better widgets and just overall better looking. Appy Weather is one of them. First of all, it's got a really slick, minimal UI. I love all things dark and it's got that dark theme as well. Now the interface is really simple. The first screen is just like a quick snapshot of the day and the week. So, you know, today, tomorrow, and a little bit about the weekend. So yeah, that's that. But if you go to the left in the hourly tab, 
you can see that, you know, it tells you today's and tomorrow's weather conditions by the hour. And the screen tells you just that along with, you know, some temperature and conditions. And the third screen is like an overview of, you know, all the days over the week. At the bottom, you can change the metric that you're looking at. So whether you want temperature, you want feels like temperature, you want cloud cover or wind, you name it, it's got it. It's powered by Dark Sky, and all these details within the app are free. However, if you also want access to widgets, which by the way, look really good, so nice that I think they're the best weather widgets I've seen in a while. It's for $1.05 for the entire year. That's like 40 cents a month. So if you want it, I suggest you go get it. And the last app in the list is the Red Line Icon Pack. And you can see why I really, really like it. I mean, it's just so good looking. It's minimal, really slick, beautiful icons. And it's got about 3,900 of those. So that means that most of the apps that you have installed would get themed with the Red Line Icon Pack. At least all the popular ones are definitely in there. The one thing that I really love about the Red Line Icon Pack is the wallpapers. You know what? They're not just like regular generic cloud-based wallpapers that you get with other icon packs. They're actually carefully selected exclusive wallpapers that go really well with this icon pack. And yeah, I mean, just imagine the icon pack on this wallpaper. Beautiful. Anyway, guys, so those were the top seven apps for the month of July 2019. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.